Hey, Dave. We're going tonight, right? Do we have to keep doing this? Babe, come on, you know my deal. Yeah, I know your deal. But maybe if you want this to work, it should be public. <laughs> Kayla, let's go. <laughs> Get in, boy toy. You're so funny. <laughs> I'll uh, see you ladies tonight. realize how late it is? I can't do this by myself. You know, Kayla, just go to your room. You have no idea how hard it is to be your daughter. Well, if you weren't such a selfish brat, your father wouldn't have left us. I hate you. She were here. Hello? You finally got my message? Uh, she's up in her room. All right, if you give me five minutes to get dressed. Okay. Bye. <gasps> <gasps> it's a night, a night, boy. Yeah. We are men chasing shots, and the ladies. Oh, should you be saving yourself for Kayla? Dude, there's plenty to go around. <laughs> the party's here. Hey, ladies. Up. Yeah, not you. This better be worth our time. Where's the alcohol? <laughs> A way to be blunt, Mal. <laughs> well, we have those too. <laughs> yeah, not cute. <laughs> Mal, are you drinking? Yes, that's what I'm doing. Hey, hey. Why haven't you been answering my texts? I, I was getting you a drink. <laughs> Relax. I don't want everyone to know what I have tonight. Besides, I, I want that special someone to know just how much I love her. Really? Yes, I want everyone to know the truth. Eric, you don't have to do that. Hey. What's up, guys? How are you? Oh. Kayla, you're drinking? Come on, you know how I feel about it. Yeah, her dad's like an alcoholic or something. <laughs> Come on, why can't you take anything seriously? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? Tonight! <laughs> <laughs>
Kayla. What? <laughs> Why are you acting like this? How about you tell them the truth? Look, just can you listen to me just for once? Don't touch no, me. No, just listen to me for- I said don't touch me! Sit. I'm not helping you on this one. You've gotten completely out of control. Mallory called me and said she was worried sick about you. Lose the attitude. Rich, You're listen, you have become a total stranger. I need you here. Kayla, your mother and I have been, have been talking tonight and we think that maybe now would be a good time for a little trip, a vacation. Where's the place that... Hollow Oak? Daddy! Hey, Pumpkin! If you truly want me to sign those papers, I'll do it. But remember this, I screwed up. I know I did. But I'd do anything to get our family back together. I'm lost without you. And what I said in there, that meant it. I made you some breakfast. Thanks. Well, I thought you'd like it. Mom, I know what you're trying to do. And what is that, Kayla? You're acting like everything's okay, and you know it's not. Well, not everything's perfect. But it's a new day, and we can get through this together. As a family. kids watch where you're going you fucking kids
We're here. You're gonna love this place. I know you will. Well, you look excited. It's not that. I just have a lot on my mind. I understand. Kayla, I really do. Let me tell you something. Your dad is a great man, a wonderful father, but he just got tired. Not of you, but of us. And he found someone new. What? Mom, why don't you tell me these things? I would have been there for you. I thought it was because it's drinking. Some things just aren't meant to tell. Well, I promise things are gonna be different now. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're gonna have fun. So I want you to go out and meet some friends and maybe even a hottie. <laughs> Mom. All right, bye kiddo. pretty, isn't it? I practically live here. My parents and I live a couple miles down the road. Where are you from? Are you new around here? Kayla. Spencer. Well, where's your campsite? Kenya Lane. Not Lot 29. Yeah? Why? That's where Jenna's family stayed. Who's Jenna? So what about that Jenna girl? Did something bad happen? She vanished. She disappeared right from this very spot. Did they ever find her? No. She was a very lonely girl. Sometimes I wonder if she was just in hiding or if she's really gone. Sorry, the place is a mess. Go ahead and have a seat. Would you like a beer? Sure. Oh, so, who is this young lady? Is this Erin? You know, I have a daughter the same age as you. Well, I was hoping she was gonna be here. I was gonna have Erin show her around. You remember what we used to get into when our parents brought us out here? It's a wonder we didn't end up in jail or something. Good Lord, Mom, how bad could you have been? Yeah, <laughs> I remember. But I'm glad it's over with. Is it? But I'd be careful if I were you. There have been incidents where girls go missing into the water. Just like Jenna? Spencer? They say there's these evil hands that just come up out of the water.
Wow, it looks nice in here. Thanks. Why don't you wait right here? I'm gonna get dressed real fast. Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. What is? This necklace. That's my mom's. My grandma gave it to her before she passed away. It's really important to her. I can see why. It looks like something out of an indie horror film or something. Hey, are you ready to go? Yeah. And out of all places, this is my favorite. I love to draw. It's my passion. My mom used to think that it got in the way of me making friends. I was just here. Did you have a nightmare? Have you taken your medicine? Yeah, I don't know. The dreams just won't stop. It's not gonna help all the time. Yeah, I know. I just want them gone. Well, go ahead and get up. This is Julie's daughter, Erin. She's offered to show you around camp today. So why don't we go and let her get dressed? Okay. Good. She just has some night terrors. She's, she's getting better. <gasps> oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. It's fine. I've got plenty of other clothes in my tent. Hey, hey, you forgot something. You oh, forgot your phone. Uh, thanks, I'll be needing that. Hey, right on time, too. Thank you. Mason. Mason. Hey, I see you two have already met. Yeah, we met all right. Did you know each other? Yes, we do. Do you guys want to hang out? Devin and I are going to go chill at the arcade and have something to eat. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? 
Yeah, that's fine with me. I'm kind of. Yo, hungry. bro, did you check out the babes in the bikini contest? <laughs> what are you doing? Ugh. I'm just kidding. They weren't even that cute, anyways. Devin. Kayla. <laughs> I see you and my friend Mason here hitting it off. Dude, chill. Just met. Just ignore him. He's only kidding. <laughs> Make sure you keep that drink covered. Believe me, I've got it covered. <laughs> what are you guys laughing at? <laughs> I spilled my water on Mason. It's not like it hurt anything. We're about to go swimming. Do you want to join? Yeah, sure. Um, I just have to stop by my campsite and get my bathing suit. Hey, Kayla. Erin. Um, I tried calling you a few times, but it wouldn't go through. That's odd. I was just wondering if you still wanted to hang out today. I have this really interesting book I wanted to show you. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll get up with you after I'm done hanging out with these guys. Okie dokie. Ew, you know her? Is that not okay? Kayla, she's weird. All last year, she stalked us. She changed everything about herself just to fit in with us. She's always been a little stockish. But she told me yesterday that she didn't have any friends. It's because she's weird. The chick has issues, okay? Well, I'm ready to go to the pier. It's hot out today and it's time to get in the water. <laughs> Guys, I forgot my bathing suit. <laughs> no need for that. <laughs> you jerk! It's payback. <laughs> so, is it just me, or do you and Mason have something going on? I don't know. He's cute. He sure can't keep his eyes off you. And neither can you. Come on. Yeah, but why does he look so concerned? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, great. Guys, we'll be back. Text me. Come on. Oh, goodness, I am full. Lord, me too. So, who are the two boys at the lake? Oh, that's... Aaron's boyfriend and his friend. His friend, huh? Mm-hmm. He's not gonna be her friend for long. He's a cutie. You can tell they like each other. Their eyes both bulge out because they stare so long. Aaron, stop. You're embarrassing me. What? It's the truth. Besides, you two are cute together. We're supposed to go back out before curfew and see them again. Really, huh? Mom, we're just friends. Well, if that's the case, I have something for you. Come on, follow me. Come on. I'll be right back. Mom, are you sure? I'm sure. It's so important to you, I don't... I don't understand. Grandma wanted you to have it. Thanks, Mom. Now, why don't you go out and have a good time with your friends and tell that cute boy that he better not hurt you. Your mom is gonna come get him. <laughs> come on, let's get back out. Bye. Bye, Mom. Have fun. Are you sure? 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry about pushing you into the water earlier then. It's okay. We were just playing around. No, no, no I shouldn't. I shouldn't have done that. That was, that was bad. Mason, bad it's okay. I never told you exactly why it was that I came to the Hollow Oak. It is actually a lot bigger of a thing than um, you probably think it was. My, my brother died. I'm sorry. One day we were out on my dad's boat just riding around, goofing around. He, he went into the water and he, he drowned. Amazing. I, I dove in to, to save him and I, I, I pulled him out and he had hit his head with the propeller and it put him in a coma. The ambulance came and he was in the hospital for a month and then he finally, he passed. People think that he, uh, they think that he uh, fell into the water, but. What happened to him? I pushed him. You what? I, I pushed him into the water. Why did you push him? I didn't mother? think that that would happen. And I would like to tell mom what had happened. I'd like to let her know that but it would just kill her and I can't do that. But anyway, she... She ended up sending me to Camp Hall Oak said I needed a change of scenery or, or something. It's okay. It doesn't change the way I think about you. Who's that? Oh, that's the groundskeeper. His uh, grandson was best friends with my brother. He really doesn't like any of us. I see him learning at people. It's, it's weird. Did you know that he didn't have an Kayla? alibi for whenever Jenna went missing? Kayla? Over Kayla? here. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. We were supposed to hang out today, but I guess you've been ignoring my calls. I've been busy. Yeah, busy ditching me. Have fun with your new friends, Kayla. Jeez, what is her problem? You're right, she is creepy. Is everything okay over there? Yeah. Aaron? Yeah? Do you think we're moving too fast? Well, we did just meet. Do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> Very <laughs> funny. I was talking about me and Mason. You guys are cute together. Just go with the flow. Honestly, I don't feel like swimming. Like, I've done that every single day since we've been here. So, what are we gonna do then? <laughs> Mason. Hey guys. Look, I just wanted to apologize for the way that I acted the other day. 
I just forgot what it was like to have a friend who understood me. And I admit, I was a little jealous. Can you guys forgive me? There's a bonfire going on tonight. And there's supposed to be a good amount of people there. I was wondering if you guys would want to come. Oh, that sounds dope. I haven't been there in years. Yeah, well, we can all see Dead in Peace pants again. <laughs> <laughs> I was Asian, bro. <laughs> all right, I get it. I'll stop picking on all of you guys, okay? Stop it. Cool. <laughs> okay, well, I promised the office I would go help out. So, I'll see you guys later tonight. Aaron? Sure. We'll see you later. We'll see you there. Here we go again. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? We always end up being mutual with her, and then we split. Yeah, because she has some, some little crush on Devin. No way. No, she doesn't. It's a long story. Something's chasing me. There's nothing there. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Okay, come on, we're almost there. Oh, chilly. <laughs> There was a girl. Her name, Darla. Her and a group of friends went out to do witchcraft. But Kate had other plans for her coven.
She kept Darla's charm and cast a spell upon it. The charm was one of a kind and told to hold a powerful curse. But Darla wasn't as naive as Kate thought. She saw her past the chalice. <coughs> Suddenly, Darla is filled with doubt and fear as her sisters fall around her. <coughs> Afraid of what would happen next, Darla runs for her life. Kate close behind her. tortured soul still haunts this camp today. The only thing keeping her spirit from finding the light is the missing charm Darla never got to throw into the fire. I mean, I've heard it happen here at Camp Hollow Oak, but it's just a myth. No. Darla will get the revenge of what happened to her that night. So, what about the girls that disappeared? <laughs> I mean, you guys could not be serious. I mean, look at her. She's a joke. <laughs> they say that her spirit can't go into the water or the sunlight and that she'll come for whatever belongs to her. Darla's here and she will get her revenge. Some way. Somehow. What's wrong? I've got to get better meds. Great, the cable's out. Eric, I 
don't want to talk to you. Eric, stop calling me! How did you get in here? What, do the ghost stories have you spooked? No. My grandma called. And that's scary how? She... She passed away about a month ago. So the ghost stories don't have you scared, they have you brainwashed? No. It was there. I saw it. It's late, you're just seeing things. It's 2 a.m., you're delusional. So Kayla, did you tell Mason about that insane phone call last night? No, I tried to forget about it before I went cuckoo. <laughs> What's she talking about? I could have sworn my grandma called last night. It was odd. <laughs> and? She's dead. That's a nice way to put it. I know I sound crazy, but I know what I saw. It said it on the screen. That phone has been deactivated. I believe you. I mean, they say this place could be haunted. I guess it could be true. <laughs> Maybe it's the ghost of Darla. Shut up, Devin. Here comes the freak show. Hey guys, can I borrow Kayla for a second? I really need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm coming. Have fun. So you remember the girl that I told you about? The one that went missing? Yeah, why, what's up? They found her body. What happened to her? They still don't know. What are you guys talking about? They found Jenna Langley's body. <laughs> you mean the girl that got snatched into the water by Darla? The water she supposedly can't even go into? This is not a joke. Darla came back to get her revenge of what happened to her that night. Here we go again. Yeah, come on guys, it's not funny. It's not a joke anymore. Even if it wasn't Darla who killed Jenna, she's... Still dead. Come on, I need to show you something. It's your necklace. What? That's impossible. My mom gave me this. And besides, what do these symbols stand for? What book is this? It's the book I found in the tree. Look, can I see your necklace real quick? It's really important to me. Please be careful with it. This is the diary of Caitlin White. She wrote in it a passage about how she planned to kill Darla that night. The story you told us last night? That's just a ghost story, right? It's meant to scare people, to scare kids. It's all true. Listen here, it says they were best friends. I had planned to stay with Darla that night. Darla and I were best friends, so I thought until I realized she was after the man I love, Tim. He's back, he's here. You're kidding. He said he never wanted to see you again. It worked. The spell worked. How could it work? It's not real. Is it? It's more than real. It's power. It's what I've always wanted. We must tell the girls. Rebecca, Sydney, Samantha. They all want the power. 
It's dream come true. He loves me now. We mustn't tell anyone. Not yet. I agree. Not yet. Practicing witchcraft is punishable by death. Unless. We make a pact. The girls. We show them what the power holds. And they join us. But, good idea. I say we do it. But first. <laughs> this must stay between us. But look. These drawings are in a different handwriting than these passages. What if someone tampered with it? Someone had to have tampered with it. What if you weren't the first person to have found the book? But who? Where's Kayla? What's taking her so long? Why don't you call her? Yeah. <laughs> Better save your girl, bro, before, you know, Spencer holds her hostage. Kidnaps her. Remember that time she pinned me up against the wall? Bitch is fucking crazy. Good point. Good point. She left her phone. <laughs> What's wrong? There's another guy. What are you talking yeah. about? His name's Eric. Baby, I miss you like crazy. I'm coming to see you. I love you. Who is this guy? Hey guys, over here. We don't have news to tell you. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's over. Maybe you should keep your phone on you if you plan on cheating. Fucking slut. <laughs> guys, wait! He's just my ex! Pronounce this witch guilty! No! Ah! Mama, wait, wake up! I need Is there never any cell service here? This whole camping thing is getting old.
baby. Are you okay? Kayla, you can't keep doing this to yourself. You're a lot like me and I don't want to see you go through life and miss everything. I really like him. I know you do. Come here. I just have so much on my mind. I know. No, you don't know. And if I tell you, you're gonna think I'm crazy and you're not gonna believe me. What are you talking about? It's not good to hold in secrets. You can tell me. There's this book. And this girl took me to this book. And it has butterflies and symbols of- oh, Kayla! It's true, it happened to me too! <laughs> Wait, what, Erin? Slow down. I got a call from my Nana and it's not in the call log anymore. I think someone's trying to tell us something. Wait a minute. What are you girls talking about? Remember when I said I had something to tell you? This is it. The book. The one with the butterflies and symbols and... Girls disappearing. Grandma Kate called. We have to go tell the guys. Bye, Mrs. Joyce. Mom, I'll tell you about it later. I gotta go. Julie? Hey. I think something's up with the girls. Over here. We need to talk. Come on, this way. Hey, did Devin already go to bed? Nah, he just left to go find you. I know you may hate me, but you need to realize Eric and I broke up before I even came here. Eric was a jerk. He cheated on me and humiliated me. Yeah, but you don't say anything about this to any of us. That's just it. I came here to get away from it all. Mom and I both. Look, Mason. You know things lately have been complicated. And the last thing I need is for us to fall apart. Mason, look at me. I love you. It's really hard to say mad at a pretty girl like you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nice to see you two made up. Now let's go reunite me with my man. Come on, let's go. Mason, 
lights back on, man. Is anybody there? Man, cut that shit out. What was that? Probably just an animal. We have to go in there, guys. This house is telling me something. He wouldn't go in there. Besides, it's condemned. It's all adding up just like the phone calls. You must have gone cuckoo, because I'm not going in there. Come on, guys. It's not that scary. <laughs> guys, I'm not going in there. You both know as well as I do that he wouldn't go in there. This guy is the guy that's afraid of a fly landing on him! Do we have to do this? I will see him. Look at this. Devin! do now right, come, come on come on come on Mason come on she's coming she's gonna kill us she's not going to kill us she can't go into the water how do you know Just put your foot grip on it I'm gonna get this Just let me try it again see she's not even coming What the fuck was that? I know I'm gonna sound crazy, but that was Darla. <laughs> Darla? She isn't real! I don't know, that seemed pretty real to me, Aaron. Guys, I'm scared. I just want Devin. So what are we supposed to do? Just sit here? We need to find that book. I believe it's the key. How do you know this? Spencer, she said it at the bonfire in her ghost story. Caitlin White's diary that she found in the tree. She's a freak. We have to go back. We have to find Devin. Mason! Stop. No, we can't go back right now, like what she said. How can you believe that freak, Kayla? Spencer has it all in the book. Darla wants to be free. She's been trapped for years. Caitlin did terrible things to her. We need to find that charm. No. Still no service. I'll catch up with you guys later. I have to go find Devin. These girls look so familiar. Look. That's Cindy Williams, but she's really old now. Oh my god. I didn't realize this before. This is Caitlin White. My great-grandmother? 
So you're saying that your grandmother is Caitlyn White. She killed Darla, she's after you. Come on, slip out. <sighs> okay, so now we find her. And why are we doing this again? Because we miss her. Besides, you do owe her an apology. I didn't agree to that. It's not like we're working out or anything. Eric, you can't do this. When did I say we were dating? We're just <sighs> hooking up. Bree, wait up. We'll do this later. Can I help you? Yeah, I was wondering if we could speak to Miss Williams. Hold on. Sydney, you have visitors. I don't know why this TV never is in reception. Okay, so anyway. Sydney, you have visitors. Miss Williams? I was wondering if you could tell me who the girls are in this picture. Can you tell us what really happened that night? It was a long, long time ago. 73 years tonight. Darker than I've ever seen. She said that she could have a power of love and that we could too. My little sister was so scared. I don't like this. Not now. I felt so bad for bringing her into this. She told us to sneak out and keep it a secret. with him. She tricked us. She tried to kill us all. He's mine. He's the father of my child. He's mine. <laughs> When Kate never sacrificed her charm, the unfinished spell is still lingering in the air. The last thing needed was Kate's blood and thrown into the cauldron. But Kate's charm was the only one that wasn't destroyed that night. How could this be possible? Didn't you say you had the charm? You mean the necklace my grandma gave me? That charm is... No necklace. <gasps> Spencer! It holds the power oh, of the you. curse, and it must be destroyed.
Have you seen Devin? I think I know where he might be. Follow me. Kayla. Kayla. You got me. Come on out. <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> Kayla. Hey, this isn't funny. Hey, let me out! Spencer! Give it to me! <laughs> Darla had read your grandma's diary. Spencer? Spencer? Come on, Spencer, wake up. Wake up, Spencer. Wake up. Spencer, wake up. It's too late. It's done. What's done? Spencer, what did you do? I brought Darla's tortured soul back from the grave. Caitlin White is evil. She killed those innocent girls. No. Darla tricked us. She planned on killing those girls that night, but Kate stopped her. Don't you get it? She tried to pin it on Kate. She planned on killing those girls that night, but Kate stopped her before she could. My necklace is Kate's charm. The only thing that could put a stop to this curse. Kate is my great grandmother. Arabella's errands and Darla. Darla is yours. Hello? Somebody there? I heard you.
come out, come out, wherever you are. You know, when I was alive, all I ever wanted was to see my mother again. But no. Everybody has to go up against me, don't they? I saw my mother's death that night, and many more to come. The girls. <laughs> How dumb could they be? I know a love spell that can make all your dreams come true. Yeah, by killing you all and pinning it on Kate! She had too much going for her. She needed to be brought back to reality. That's why I wrote the diary as if I were her. As if she killed the girls. But again, no! She ruins my plans and puts me into the ground! She knew Tim was the father of my child. And she still tried to sleep with him. Tim. Come back! I trusted back. her. Tim! Tim! I had to think of a plan fast. <laughs> Kate. My dear old friend. I wanted to give you something. I need you to give this to Darla. Can you tell her that I... I miss her, and that I love her. Of course, Tim. She'll love it. Oh, you again. Mom? Aw, is this a family reunion? It would have been. If your damn curse hadn't killed Grandma... Kate had it coming. The necklace. I knew it. That's my grandmother's necklace, you bitch! Not anymore. <laughs> Finders keepers. You had your chance. Mom! I thought you said Grandma died of Alzheimer's. When Julie and I were younger... We came across the hollow oak tree. It seemed as if it was calling to us. There was something inside of it. It was unique. A diary. Grandma Kate's diary. This is Grandma's. Only, it wasn't written by her. Is that the necklace from the diary? We can ask the eight ball. It's downstairs, I can go get it. No. I found something better. Is this Darla? Is this Darla? Are you seeking revenge? This isn't working. We read her diary page by page. We knew something wasn't right. Mom, where is this book? We put it in the tree. Spencer train. has it. That's the spell that Spencer was using? Spencer loves Devin. And I'm Devin's girlfriend. She's trying to kill me.
Miss Sydney, hold on just a second. I'll be right there. Shit. Sydney, are you okay? Hey, it's okay. I'm sure the power's gonna be back on in just a few minutes. It's a TV. had written in grandma's diary, thinking that she was going to live that night. She blamed it on Kate. She was going to kill the girls. She was gonna later find the diary for proof. She tried to pin it on grandma, but she lost. Her plan failed. Ah! Bitch face. Over here. Okay, go check on Mason. I've got you. Mason? Mason, wake up. Wake up, Mason. Please, come on, wake up. It's okay. It's all over. She's gone. No. 
This next story is hard to imagine such a harsh reality, a bloodbath at Camp Hollow Oak. We're here live at the scene of a grisly murder. This is the residence of Miss Sydney Williams. She and her caretaker have been found dead. At nearby Camp Hollow Oak, five more people are murdered. Two girls are missing and also presumed to be dead. This staggering body count is expected to rise as an investigation unfolds. Kayla Coleman is missing and wanted for murder. With us, we have Mason Carter, a survivor of the brutal killing spree at Camp Hollow Oak. Mason, what can you tell us about Kayla Coleman? Kayla was crazy. She popped pills like it was candy. She heard voices and she had visions. Visions of what? She actually believed in the urban legend of Darla. Jenna Langley is also missing. Do you believe that Kayla could have had anything to do with her disappearance as well? I saw you kill your brother, Mason. How's your mother gonna feel when I tell her? Yes, I do. The sheriff indicated that a new sheriff station at Camp Hollow Oak is a must. That's the KAPX News for tonight. I'm Sharon Williams, hoping your news is good news.